kind of businesses that won't make into the portfolio are companies with poor governance, weak returns on capital, or companies with substitution or obsolescence risk, like newspapers or many in the combustion engine food chain. These are value traps rather than value. The misgovernance of various kinds we could classify into cheating existing partners are companies that are siphoning off cash or value from the company. Cheating investors at large is where companies are involved in stock price manipulation. Uh, companies con uh, conducting business in an unethical or illegal manner or companies where there's no alignment of interest between management and minority shareholders or companies that use very aggressive uh, accounting approach to spruce up or smoothen their earnings profile. Um, as Benjamin Franklin very famously said, he that lie down with dogs shall rise up with fleas. That is the case with companies with poor governance and hence best avoid them. If we keep moving forward, uh, balanced from a risk management perspective, this is something very unique about our team's approach as well. We want to ensure that performance is a functional skill rather than chance. And to, to do so, uh, we maintain a balanced portfolio, consciously avoiding at all times temptations such as market timing, sector rotation, or other top-down bets. Uh, we understand any residual risk which might be byproduct of our stock selection and seek to minimize those without compromising on our stock selection. So quickly, if I were to give you the ex an example to illustrate on the right hand side, the pictorial graph, think of the dotted line as some kind of a market cycle. Uh, from a stock picking perspective, our aim is to only buy stocks that would fall substantially above the x-axis over a cycle. We make some mistakes as well, but net net, let's say the team generates the double edged arrow as the alpha or outperformance. Now within the market and the portfolio, there are pro cyclical companies like from financials, real estate, automobiles, industrials and so on and counter cyclical companies like pharma, staples, IT and so on. We don't have any ex ante preference for either. It is in fact our conscious desire to have a good balance at all times between the two types. If we are able to do that, then in conjunction with superior stock selection, not only will the team be able to generate a strong uh, performance over the cycle, but also during sub segments of the cycle.